What's up, everybody? We just arrived at Target. We have a specific goal in mind for going in here. We have a victory that we are looking to achieve here. So I'm gonna take you into the store with me. I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to anyway. I'm gonna take you into the store on my journey and hopefully we'll be able to find exactly what we're looking for. What's up everyone? I just got back from Target. I was going there to get a specific item. I got my item. But before I show you that, I kind of want to talk about what's been going on this week in the world of gaming. On Tuesday, which was November 29th, it's now Thursday, December 1st, but on November 29th, Final Fantasy 15 launched. Now this is a game that has been announced I think for like seven years now. People have been waiting and waiting for this game to come out. It finally released on this Tuesday. I am thrilled. I haven't had a chance to play it yet because there's a lot of things that you need to do before you start playing the game and I'll get into that in a little bit, but I did get my copy. I wanted to show you guys what comes in the deluxe edition of Final Fantasy 15 and then show you what I got at Target this morning. So yes, I've already wrapped, ripped the wrapper off of it. I wanted to show you guys Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition. It's hard to see because of the glare here, but the Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition comes in this super beautiful steelbook case, which I'm gonna show you. And the, the Deluxe Edition, a lot of people are really going after this version because not only is the steelbook absolutely beautiful, it comes with the game, a little bit of extra DLC for the game, and Kingsglaive Final Fantasy 15, the movie. So I'll show you the steelbook. So you just take this little slip cover off right here, and the, the steelbook itself is right here. It's got some really cool art on there. I have no clue what is going on in any of this art, but it looks really cool. I'll pop it open, see if we can make some better sense of it. Again, no clue what's going on in any of that, but still it looks really beautiful and I'm glad that I got it. Once you pop it open, let's see, we got a lot of paperwork on this side. Um, advertising World of Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe a remake of Final Fantasy 12. Some other games in there. Uh, both discs right there. We've got Final Fantasy 15 over here on this side and Kingsglaive over here on this side. So that's a Blu-ray. I am going to watch that. I have not yet watched it, but I've been told it's important to watch Kingsglaive before you start playing the game. Otherwise, a lot of things won't make sense. Um, the day one edition I got right here, which is just some DLC, Masamune sword, Royal Raiment DLC costume, and the Leviathan regalia skin. The regalia is the vehicle that you use in Final Fantasy 15. You get a different skin for that. Let's see what this is. I have no clue what this is. Oh, it looks like it's signed by everybody who made the game. That's a, that's a nice touch. So we got a whole bunch of signatures in there. Thank you for your support and some stuff in a language that I don't read, but that's really cool. I like it when they put like stuff in there from the Final Fantasy 15, thank you for your support. And that's cool, and we got our four main, four main characters right there, Noctis, Ignis, Prompto, and Gladius. And we've got a little book here. The last thing that I wanna to get to complete kind of my Final Fantasy 15 collection is this guy right here, the Deluxe Edition Strategy Guide. I think with games like this, the hardbacks are so nicely done. I feel like I need to have it. I've got them for all the Final Fantasy 13 games and a couple of previous Final Fantasy games as well. So that is the deluxe edition. Put this back on there. I'm going to watch Kingsglaive. I was told before you start playing Final Fantasy 15, you should first watch the Final Fantasy 15 Brotherhood anime. It's found on the Final Fantasy 15 YouTube page. Um, so I would recommend you go there and watch that first. It's five episodes, about an hour. I watched it last night. It was really cool. It gives you a lot of in-depth access to the relationship between the four main characters. So some things in the game that occur, you might understand a little bit better if you watch that, that one hour anime brotherhood. 
Now, King's Glaive, I was also told that you should watch that too, so I'm gonna do that right after I get done with this video. But what did I go to Target for? As you've seen in the previous clips, I went to Target to get the Final Fantasy Wizz's Energizing Elixir made by Jones Soda. So, when big games come out or games that we've been waiting for for a while, sometimes Jones Soda will do a release along with the game, along with the developers of the game to make something kind of cool that you can buy. They did it with Fallout 4 with the Nuka-Cola Quantum. I did not get any of those, but I'm also not a huge Fallout fan, so I didn't care. But Final Fantasy is a little bit more of an important series to me. I've been playing since the original Final Fantasy release in 87. Um, so yeah, this was a little bit more important to me to have this. So I went to Target this morning. It was a little bit difficult to find, but I found it. I was a little, uh, a little upset that it was $3 a bottle. I mean, I definitely want to save one bottle, but $3 a bottle is a little bit pricey. So I didn't want to buy too many of them. I got two. Maybe I'll drink one. I'll share it with my wife. And then the second one I'll keep. But, um, I don't know. I didn't feel, I don't know. That's, that seems a little bit expensive to pay per bottle. I thought it was like a four pack for, for $3, but I guess I was wrong about that. So it's definitely $3 a bottle. And the target that I went to had a decent amount. You actually get a bottle free when you buy the game from there, but I did not buy my game from there, but I'm really happy to get the energizing elixir here from Jones soda. It is, let's see what the flavor is. It is a orange and cream soda. That sounds delicious, first of all. Orange and cream soda with natural and artificial flavors, brewed and bottled by outside of EOS by Jones King Sugar Soda. It's excuse me, it's 12 ounces. And it says, Wiz creates this tonic in small batches in the basement of his chocobo post and only sells the secretive soda to those in the know, which is me. It also says, and considering you're holding a bottle in your very hands, you must already know that lucky you. Final Fantasy 15, blah, 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 blah. Two servings of Giyashi Greens in each bottle, it says right there. Now, Giyashi Greens, there's a lot of food, a lot of recipes in the game, so I'm sure I'll come into contact with that at some point during my playthrough of the game. But that is awesome. Um, we're getting close to the end of the video game season. There's not a lot coming out for the rest of the year. Dead Rising 4 comes out pretty soon, and The Last Guardian. I'm really hyped for is The Last Guardian comes out on PS4 on December 6th, so in just about five days. And that game has been in development forever. So once I pick that up, I'll definitely show it off to you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna wait until my wife gets home. The Game Awards is tonight. I'm gonna watch that tonight as well. And I'll make a video about how I feel about the results of the Game Awards and any announcements that we happen to see tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. Please give me a follow on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. I would super appreciate it. It always means a lot to me. And you guys, as always, have an awesome day.